So we're gonna heat the fingerboard extension up on this Martin before we pull this fret. We need to heat this extension so that we can get a spatula in underneath of there and get it off the top of the guitar. What I do is this, and then I have some foil here that I like to use just as a little insulator. You wanna be careful about doing this if you're working with guitars that don't have shell inlay. If you're working with a guitar that has a inlay that's made of celluloid, it's probably better to remove the inlay from the tongue before you heat it up to 250 degrees. They will catch on fire. They just go like that and they're, and they're gone. You don't wanna to have to replace something like that. We're gonna set this for just past 20 minutes. We're gonna feel for this to warm up in here. All right, so I've got my hand inside here, feeling the underside of the top where the tongue is at, and it's hot. It feels like this is about ready. You want to feel that stinging sensation. I think we're good with this right now. Pull this off all in one shot. Let that cool. Okay, so I wanted to give this a little more heat because I wanted to, to make sure I was really warming up that glue joint properly. Um, my concern was that I was running into some grain run out and I was cutting into the top of the guitar under the tongue. Okay, this is good. This is really good, how this, how this feels. And again, sometimes you run into a lot of goo. I'm really trying to minimize chip out when I pull this fret out of here. And I'm gonna pull the fret out right now while it's hot. I put a mark on it just yep. on the treble side, just as some kind of reference point for me. So now I just like to Gently work my way across, gently pulling this fret out, going slow and watching in front here, because we're dealing with ebony, and ebony, especially old ebony, likes to chip. And I'm really trying to minimize that. You know, you can fix ebony chips, but it's really hard to hide them. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> I got my knuckle right here. Now we're gonna jam a drill down through there, so. I like to come in about a half an inch from the outside of the fretboard. And you can see I'm kind of at an angle. I'm gonna go in reverse first. Going in reverse reduces your chip out. It also makes a lot of smoke. Now see how I've punched through. You can see how the drill dropped down. I'm in the dovetail pocket right now. Now I'm going to get out the bigger drill bit. I'm gonna go in reverse again. Okay, so now I'm gonna change my direction. So now I'm at the bottom of the pocket. It stopped. I can feel it. All right, so that's a nice clean hole. I've done this for years with steam and I've recently switched to the Stuart McDonald hot stick. Really, really, really great design. So I'm gonna show you how that works. Okay, so I've been heating up the dovetail joint on this 1958 Martin D28, and I'm actually using just a few drops of water out of this water bottle. Nice squirt down in there. And then I will put this down inside the hole and you'll hear it sizzle because it's hitting water and it's making just a little bit of steam in there. Now I'm also feeling underneath the guitar right where the heel meets the front of the body and the back of the guitar. I'm feeling for moisture penetration. So once we have moisture penetration in this area, that's a really good sign that the glue is breaking down and we're probably getting close to where the neck's gonna wanna come off of the guitar. Give it a little wiggle sometimes. You'll feel the heel get warm. We're looking for a gap to form right here where the fretboard meets the body. I'm looking for a gap when I turn this wheel down here, putting tension on the neck, pushing upward. And it looks like a little one's starting to form. You don't wanna to put too much pressure on this down here, pushing upward, because if the toe of your dovetail is not sitting in glue that's been softened enough, um, you can break the tip of the dovetail or more of the dovetail off inside of the pocket. And you don't wanna do that. You can see there's more of a gap that's forming here. It's getting looser. This gap is opening up more. You can have that much movement and your toe can still be glued in pretty well. Sometimes that happens and we did not break the dovetail. We're good. That's scary though when that happens. It popped. It said, I am letting go right now. So that's very rare. That's very rare for that to happen. All right. This is just something that you'll get used to the more you do it. Yeah.
Just finished the neck reset and refret and new nut and vintage style through slot saddle on a 1958 D28. And this thing has a voice, man. <laughs>